Simone, a big game for you, seven tackles in a, in a playoff clinching performance. Just how do you feel this defense played, and especially in a game so important? Uh, I think we did what we were supposed to do against that Calgary team. Um, we know going in the game it was going to be hard for them to score touchdowns or do anything on our defense, and we just played great team defense. It, it seems like you've really come into your own, especially over the second half of the season. You've, you've been balling out. Um, <laughs> do you just feel momentum here? It's just part of the game, you know, like I've always been a dominant player when I'm healthy and that's just what it is and we're just going to ride it all the way into the playoffs. Thanks. You talked earlier in the week about playing all three levels. It seemed like there was a lot more on the defensive back on. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, I realize that's partly like who they are. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Like, like who Calgary is? Wait, part, what's your question? Meaning that the number of times you were playing drop back, like mm -hmm. back there, it seemed like a lot. Yeah, it's just when you get up on teams, you know what kind of defense, what, what they're going to be looking for. And, you know, my coach uh, trusts me in getting back there and making plays. So whatever the team asks me to do, I'm able to do it, especially with the guys. You know, Chris Edwards, he did a great job. You know, there's times that I was working with Chris, and he did a great job playing outside and making my job a lot easier. Um, yeah, it's simple football when everybody's doing their job. You're a guy that, that likes to see drama. Uh, the quarterback hasn't thrown a pass in three months, and his first pass goes 72 yards to Tim for a touchdown. <laughs> that's just part of the game. You think about Powell. What was Powell's first play? Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's just part of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody loves that momentum. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's eager to play football. You know, everybody wants to play football. So when they get their opportunity, they're going to shine. So, so when you, when Milty was talking about it when we all came in here, just the work rate that you've had the last few games. Your reputation is secure in this thing, what you've done. You've now secured a playoff spot. How bad do you want to be back here at the end of November? It's just a, uh, it's a one game process, you know? Like whatever we got, we're going to be in the um, Easter semifinals. And, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to right now the most, you know, just proving that game. Because at the end of the day, especially in the CFL, we got to take it one game at a time. As much as I want to skip and fast forward and get to the Great Cup, there's a lot of business to take care of still. In terms of that business, um, oh, one of his masters this year has dropped the E and go. Um, yeah. He was talking. I know a lot of your teammates are like Stavros Kastantonis is putting, he's had to put in huge work to do some of the stuff that he's done. You mentioned Chris Edwards as well. It's all Jamal Peters, but... What kind of example are you trying to set with the way that you've been working, especially over the last little bit? It's just lead by example, you know what I mean? Like everybody's in Hamilton and they see all the fans going 21 crazy and, it's, you know, show them why they're going 21 crazy every week, you know, and that's just about producing every week.